Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 For this is the day in which the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Let us us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. God is worthy of all the honor. All the glory and all the praise. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Did he wake you up this morning? In your right mind. Hallelujah. Clothes on your back. Shoes on your feet. Food on your table. Holy Ghost in the house. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got so much to thank the Lord for. Hallelujah. His Holy Spirit. The precious gift for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The said, out of all the people in the world, he chose me. Hallelujah. Out of all that's going on in the world, Rumors of wars and pestilence and 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 disease and Amen. death all around me. Hallelujah! I still have joy. Katika vurugzoto na zondele ya duniani, baada mungu na tuletea yani moyo wakua na shukurani na moyo wakua na sifa. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Furaha bwana diongovu yetu. And the and the lesson today is that. We owe God a praise. We owe God a praise. You know the Bible said we persuade men. I want to not only persuade you to worship and praise the only true and living God Jesus. Uh, but I want to also encourage you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To continue to seek his face to be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we owe God a praise. Like, I'd like for you to turn. First of all, I want to introduce myself. Elder Cosman E. Sims. Elder Cosman E. Sims. <laughs> Amen. And we have Jesus Reigns Restoration <laughs> Ministry. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. yes, Lord. God is so good, Saint. <laughs> We're gonna go to the lesson. The word of God is, is so sweet. You know, men should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded that come out of the mouth of God. Amen. Amen. We owe God a praise. Let's, let's turn our Bibles to John. Saint John 19 and 26. And we're going to read from verse 26 to 29 and this is why we owe God a praise Mm -hmm. hallelujah when Jesus therefore saw his mother and his disciples standing by whom he loved he said unto his mother woman behold thy son then said he to his disciple, Behold thy mother. And for that hour, and from that hour, that disciple took her into his own home. Kisha kamambia yule mwanafunzi, Tazama, mama yako. Na tangu saa ile, mwanafunzi yule akamchukua nyumbani kwake. After this, Jesus knowing all things were now accomplished. Mm-hmm that the scriptures might be fulfilled mm-hmm. hallelujah said i thirst baada ya hayo yesu hali akijua ya kuwa yote yamekwisha kumalizika ili andiko litimizwe akasema naona kiu now they set a vessel full of vinegar and they fill a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and up and put it on his mouth. Kulikuwako huko chumbo kimejaa siki, basi wakatia sifongo iliyojaa siki juu ya ufito wa hisopo, wakampelekea kinywani. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, "It is finished." 
and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Basi Yesu alipokuisha kuipokea ile siki, alisema imekwisha. Akainama kichwa akaisalimu roho yake. Luke 23 and 46. Ukienda Luka 23:46 Luke 23 and 46 and it reads and when Jesus had cried with a loud voice he said father into thy hands i commend my spirit and yes. having said this he gave up the ghost thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Hallelujah. Yesu akalia kwa sauti kuu akasema, "E baba mikononi mwako naiweka roho yangu." Amen. Alipokwisha kusema Amen. hayo, alikata roho. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank, Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. He sacrificed his life for our liberty. Alijitoa maisha yake kwa ajili ya uhuru wetu. Without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin. Bila kumwagika damu hakuna ondoleo la dhambi. That lamb of Calvary without spot or blemish. Hallelujah. Yaani yule mwana kondoo pale Calvary Calvary ambaye hakuwa na mawao wala kasoro yote. Sacrifice his life. Hallelujah on Calvary's cross. Alijitoa maisha yake kwenye msalaba wa Calvary. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. 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 Asante for the sins of the world. Kwa ajili ya dhambi za For your sins and my sins. Kwa ajili ya dhambi zako na dhambi zangu. This is why hallelujah we owe God a praise. Hii ndio maana tunadaiwa na Mungu sifa. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. He, before he before that was even done he made sure that his mother Mary was taken care of. Na kabla tukio hilo la kutoa maisha yake alihakikisha mama yake as we remind you before we remind you again the Lord say to honor your mother and father that your days belong upon the earth why because this is right kama tulivu ambia hapo awali tunawakumbusha tena heshimu wazazi wako ili maisha yako ya marefu wapa duniani God honor his word he puts his word above his name mungu anaweka neno lake anadishika neno lake kabla ya jina lake Amen. And in doing so, he made sure that his mother was safe, God, with another disciple and one who loved him. Na kabla ya ku maisha yake ku 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 kuyatoa kuyatoa maisha yake, alihakisha mama yake ana mtu wa kumtunza. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. God made a way. Hallelujah. Mungu alitengeneza njia. In the death of the cross, hallelujah. He made a way. Hallelujah. To uh the Holy Ghost the receiving of the holy ghost hallelujah the pouring out of his spirit kwa kifo chake cha msalaba wa kavari alitengeneza njia ya kutoa kutuachia roho yake mtakatifu turn your bible to acts uh, 2 and 36 we're going to read 2 and 36 through verse 38 twende matendo mitume 2 36 tutasoma mpaka 38 through verse 40, through verse 40. thank you jesus asante yesu and this is how this is the way in which god made through the death of the cross, hallelujah, and it's appointed time because Joel 2.28, he said, in the last day, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Unaona, basi, siku zile za mwisho, alisema katika siku za mwisho, ata muaga roo waki mtakatifu. And that your sons and daughters, my sons and daughters shall prophesy. Yani mabinti zake na mjana waki, wata toa, wata pewa onabi. And that young men should have vision and old men should dream dreams. Vijana watapewa maono na wazee watauteshwa ndoto. Upon my handmaid and upon my daughters, hallelujah, he said, I will pour out my spirit, says the Lord. Kwa mabinti zake atamwaga roho wake mtakatifu. And that was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. Na hiyo litimia kwenye siku ile ya Pentecost. Acts 2 and 36. Therefore let all the house, the man of God he after they received the Holy Ghost in the upper room. Mm-hmm. Everyone outside heard from the different countries that they came from, uh, the different languages that was that they was displaying in the upper room being filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's, that's when the man of God said, This is that that was written by the prophet Joel in the last day say of God. Ndicho yule mtumishi wa Mungu akawafafanulia akasema hiki ndio kilichoandikwa na nabii Yoweli. And with other words of exhortation and here in Acts 2 uh 236 I'm starting there and you leisure read this chapter. Kwa muda wako tafadhali soma matendo ya mitume 2. Because it pertains to 
the only plan of salvation. Hallelujah. We owe God our praise. Therefore let not all, not some, all the house of Israel know assuredly mm -hmm. that God had made that same Jesus whom you crucified both Lord and Christ. Basi ni bayote ya Israeli na wajue ya kini ya kwamba mungu amemfanya yesu huyo mlia msunubisha kuwa buwana na kristo. Now when they heard this they were pricked in their heart and they said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles men brethren what shall we do? Walipo ya sikia haya wakachomwa miyoyo yao wakamambia petro na mitumio ingine tutendeje ndugu zetu. The same Jesus whom you crucify he is Lord he is Christ. He is he is the savior. He is the Messiah. He is God. Aliwaambia huyu Yesu ndiye msulubu, yeye ni bwana, ni mwokozi na ndiyo Messiah. They were from his testimony. He was they were pricked in their heart and they said what what else we do? That's the question that a lot of people don't they do ask but then many don't ask today. Hiyo yani wakauliza swali je tufanye nini? Hilo ni swali ambalo wengi wanapaswa kuuliza lakini hawauliza kuhusu wokovu. You want to know what to do concerning salvation? Ukitaka kujua nini cha kufanya kuhusu wokovu? What you need to do to save your soul? Nini unatakiwa kufanya ili kuokoa roho yako? Acts 2:38 it says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Petro akawambia tubuni. Mkabatizo kila mmoja kwa jina lake Yesu Kristo. Mpate ondoleo la dhambi zenu nanyi mtapokea kipawa cha roho mtakatifu. Hallelujah. That's what you need. Hicho ndo unachoitaka. You want to go to heaven? This is what you have to do. Ukitaka kwenda mbinguni, hivi ndio unachofanya. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Acts 2 and 39. For the promise is unto you and your children and to all that are far off even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Kwa kuwa ahadi hii ni kwa ajili yenu na kwa watoto wenu na kwa watu wote walio mbali na kwa wote watakaoitwa na Bwana Mungu wetu wa mjie. From the death of the cross the Lord made a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah with, with the infilling of the Holy Ghost his spirit. Yaani kwa kifo cha msalaba wa Calvary Bwana Yesu ametengeneza njia ili tujazo roho yake mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Atusaidie. Hallelujah. He said I would not leave you comfortless. Alisema hata tuacha bila kuwa na mfariji. I'm going to send you the comforter. Hallelujah. Atatumia atatuachia mfariji. Which is the Holy Ghost is going to lead you and guide you in all truth is going to be it's going to keep you. Hallelujah. Ambaye roho mtakatifu ambaye atatuongoza katika kweli yote na kutuhifadhi. And he told them repent that to turn from your sins, turn from your way to God way. Akaambia watubu watoke kwenye njia zao waende kwenye njia za Mungu. And be baptized. You look up baptism is to be submerged, to be put under. Hallelujah. He to be baptized in Jesus name. Na wabatizwe. Kubatizwa maana yake ni kudumbukizwa kwenye maji. No other name given among men whereby we must be saved but in the name of Jesus. Hakuna jina lingine ni wala lolote ambalo tunapaswa kuokolewa isipokuwa jina la Yesu. That's where the power is. Hapo ndio wokovu ulio. Hapo ndio wokovu ulio. Where in the name of Jesus. Tutaona nacho hitaji huko katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said the promises unto you and your children as many as the God, as God should call afar off. Yaani ahadi hiyo ni kwa ajili yenu na watoto wenu wengi kama ambao Mungu amewaita. As many as the Lord our God should call. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu atawaita. And for, for uh, the uh, 40th verse it says And with many other words did he testify Jesus said it hallelujah to Nicodemus Yes I'm going to be Nicodemus Hey the apostles they were witness of uh, uh not just of the works that Jesus did but the continue the works and uh, unto salvation hallelujah yani wafuasi wa Yesu waliendelea kazi zilizozianzisha bwana Yesu god commissioned us as believers mungu ametuta to go out in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature 
Mungu ametupa ametuagizia sisi tuliyemfuata yeye kwamba tuende ulimwengu mzima tukahubiri injili. Given them Acts 2:38 to repent and be baptized in his name. Tuwape matendo ya mitume 2:38 for the taking away of sins for the remission of sins the Lord has made a way hallelujah and the infilling of his Holy Spirit hallelujah the infilling of the Holy Ghost Christ in you the hope of glory hallelujah who we preach hallelujah Ubiri, hallelujah. You said, well, what's the reason for this? Why? Because of the fact that the man of God, even 3,000 years ago, he testified and exhort, saying, save yourself from this unto a generation. You got something you got to do. Give God glory. Kwa hiyo, unaona mtumishi wa mungu, aliambiwa wajiokoe wenyewe, kutoka na kizazi hiki ya lifu. Give God the praise. kumpa Mungu tukufu kwa kutengenezea njia kumpa sifa kutengenezea njia. The Lord has made a way for us. Mungu amekutengenezea njia. Not to be lost but to be saved. Tusipotee bali tuokolewe. Hallelujah. 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 We all God a praise. Tunapaswa kumpa Mungu tukufu. Hallelujah. We all God a praise to Hallelujah to thank Lord we just to be able to with the fruit of your lips say Lord thank you for the death of the cross. Kwa kinyo, yani kwa matunda ya kinywa chetu tunatakiwa kumwambia Mungu asante kwa kifo chako kwenye msalaba wa Calvary. Thank you Lord for your precious blood. Asante kwa damu yako ya thamani. Thank you Lord for not leaving us comfort. Asante Mungu kwa kutokutuacha bila mfariji. Thank you Lord for the power of the Holy Ghost. Asante Mungu kwa ajili ya nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Thank you Lord for your love. Asante Mungu kwa upendo wako. Thank you Lord for your peace. Asante Mungu kwa amani yako. Thank you Lord for your joy. Asante Bwana kwa furaha yako. Thank you Lord for your grace and your mercy. Asante kwa furaha kwa kwa neema yako na rehema zako. Thank you Lord for eternal life. Asante kwa uzima wa milele Bwana. You say rejoice that your names are written in the Lamb book of life. Yesu alisema tufurahi kwa maana iwapo tunajua jina letu tunajua katika kitabu kile cha uzima. Thank you Jesus. Cha mwana kondoo. Hallelujah. 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 Say by his power divine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the anointing that it destroys yoke. The anointing the spirit of God that makes a difference in our lives. Niro ni 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 Roho Mtakatifu unaleta tofauti katika maisha yetu. Asante Yesu. Kwa kweli Mungu amemwambia a praise is an action, hallelujah, expressing approval or a man or a admiration. Yaani sifa maana yake ni kumwambia mtu umemkubali, unamheshimu, umemuinua, yani unampa mtu uh, ile heshima anastahili. Amen. It is a uh, uh, commend it commends and it it offers grateful homage, hallelujah unto the Lord in word and in song as an action of worship. Yaani unaweza ukatumia maneno au wimbo ni kama kinyesi katika kitendo cha kuabudu. You hear me? Thank you Jesus. With the, fruit of, with the fruit of our lips. Una tunaposema asante Yesu. Tunabariki Bwana kutumia kwa chetu. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm going to constantly make my boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear him here and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Maneno yake yanakuwa kutoka kwenye maandiko nitamuhimidi Bwana siku zote sifa yake itakuwa kwenye kinywa changu muda wote na watakao niuliza nitawaambia God of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah with the fruit of our lips. Kwa matunda ya hands. Tukiinua mikono. Hallelujah. The bending of our knees. Hallelujah. magoti. Hallelujah. We're making a loud noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. kelele ya utakatifu. Hallelujah. A hymn of praise to God. Tenza rohoni ya kumsifu Mungu. Unaweza kutumia. Hallelujah. A, a praise is a state of being approved. We approve of God. We we approve of his holiness. We approve of his love and kindness. We approve of his tender mercies. Yaani katika kumsifu Mungu, unamwambia Mungu kwa kweli umemtamini, umemheshimu. Haleluya, unashukuru kwa ajili ya rehema zake. We are, and or or someone to be a, or to be admired. 
we admire the Lord. Yaani Mungu mtu ambaye unamuona ni wa maana. Unamuona mtu anastahili heshima kubwa sana. He is Lord. He is God is good. Mungu ni mwema mno. Not the sum but to all. Sio kwa baadhi, kwa wote ni mwema mno kwa watu wote. Wema na wabaya. His mercy endure forever. Rehema zake ni za milele. Slow the anger and of great compassion towards his people. Ni ni mwingi wa rehema na na pia sio mwema. Hallelujah. The Lord said if I be lifted up I'll draw all men unto me. Mungu alisema Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. But hallelujah. How can you lift them up if your light is in shine? Hallelujah. hallelujah. For the Lord said let your light so shine that all men see your good works. Unaona Mungu ametuambia acha mwangaza wako ungae ili wengi waone kazi za Mungu njema kupitia wewe. And they may glorify your Father which is in heaven. Waweze kumtukuza Mungu baba yako ambaye yuko mbinguni. Hallelujah. Your good work Do the Holy Ghost what you do for God will give him glory. Kupitia kazi yako njema ile zile zifanya kwa uwezo wa mtakatifu atakukuza Mungu kupitia. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. The, there are some Hebrew words for praise every Christian need to know. Kuna maneno ya Kiyahudi ambayo yanayohusiana na sifa ambayo ni vyema kila Mkristo akiyafahamu. Hala la kwanza ni hala is one of them. Moja wapo most common word for praise to boast or brag or rave about God. Yaani mtu kama anataka kujisifia kwa kwa jina la Bwana, anatumia hilo. God is a mighty God. God is a good God. God is a great God. I make my boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ninamsifu yeye, namuinua. The Lord is God. He will fight my battle. Bwana ndiye Mungu atapigana na vita Hallelujah. God is mighty in battle. Mungu ni mkubwa katika vita. God is great and greatly to be praised. I'm making my boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm lifting up the name of Jesus. Namuinua jina la Mungu. Hallelujah. God is great and greatly to be praised. Mungu ni mkubwa anastahili sifa. Hallelujah. Help me with this word. Yamaha. Yamaha. Hallelujah. There's another word for a Hebrew word these are hebrew words of expressions of praise hallelujah, hallelujah. it means to worship with extended hands i lift up my hands unto the lord hallelujah yani ha- maana unamsifu mungu akuinua mikono yako hallelujah, hallelujah. They, 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 they would give a wave offering in the hallelujah god's people would give a wave offering hallelujah mm-hmm. back in the day hallelujah you read in the old testament if they didn't have anything Hallelujah they took to some barley they took some from the field they took a, a something in their hand and gave God a wave of offering hallelujah Zamani wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanatumia matawi au yaani wanasema ya kupunga kupungia We celebrate Palm Sunday hallelujah We celebrate Palm Sunday and we get palms and we wave them Hosanna blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord the Hosanna blessed is in the highest Bless bless we bless in God. Hallelujah. Ndio maana unaona kuna ile siku kuu ya matawi, tusahau tunambariki Bwana tunakumbuka sifa ya jinsi hiyo. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, just like love is an action word. Hey, pray the praises that we give God is it, it involves movement. It involves action. It involves love. Hallelujah. Ambavyo upendo inabidi uoneshe kwa mape, kwa matendo. Hallelujah. Mungu lazima uoneshe kwa matendo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. We are going to praise. Tunastahili. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. Tunastahili Mungu anastahili. Hallelujah. Mtambariki Bwana Sifa zake zitakuwa katika kinywa changu daima. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
the sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. You walk around at work. You walk around at home. You walk around in the public. And you say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I love you. Lord, you're a good God. Lord, you're so worthy. Oh, Lord, you're so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The sacrifice of praise. With the fruit of our lips. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's acceptable unto God. He seeketh such that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. He seeketh such will give hallelujah sacrifice. And in the New Testament, we render spiritual mm. sacrifices every day. As ministers, as children of God, we minister spiritual sacrifices every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those sacrifices that they that they that they had to use of uh, uh, the bullocks and of uh, he goats and all that it didn't please God but a body he said I come in the body in the volume of the book mm -hmm. it is written to do thy will O God mm -hmm. but he prepared a body hallelujah his body Making himself, God making himself twain coming down to reconcile the world unto himself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. By the death of the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you read Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, it talks about that lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. For your sins and mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The eunuch in the, in the eighth chapter of Acts. He was reading Isaiah. And the man of God said. You understand what you're reading? He said. Hey, I don't know. I'm going to know. Unless a man show me. He said. Well, this, who is this they talking about? In this, in this chapter of the Bible. And he preached to him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in preaching to him, Jesus, he, out of all that desert, the man said, here, he said, he said, here's water. What stopping me from being baptized? In the desert, stopping me from being baptized? He said, Do you believe in Jesus? He said, I believe that He is the Son of God, that He's God Almighty. I believe that He's God. And from his testimony, the man of God, hallelujah, he took him, I believe it's Ananias, mm -hmm. he took him down and baptized him in Jesus' name. The man got up rejoicing. We got more than Acts 2.38 to prove that baptism saves. Tuna zaidi ya matendo ya mitume mbili sasina nane kukuakisha kwamba ubatizo unatakiwa ili mtu wakolewa. We all God are praying. Tuna daiwa na mungu sifa. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. There was no curse to that particular black man that day. Yani siku hile yule mtu mweusi mweusi ya likuwa hana la hana ya yote siku hile. But he was a treasurer hallelujah of Bathsheba. Of the Ethiopians. Hallelujah. My perception that he was a man of color. As a black man, as a black woman, this 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 complexion is not cursed in God. Hallelujah. He can turn a curse into a blessing. 
baraka. A blessing into a curse. Yaani akageuka na pia na wewe utakugeuza baraka ikawa ni laana. Read the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy. Soma ma uh, Deuteronomy 28. Kumbukumbu la Torati 28. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Google curse and blessing in the Bible. Mle ndani kuna baraka na kuna laana. Tafuta laana ya baraka kwenye Biblia. There's no limit to God. Hakuna mipaka na Mungu, hakuna. There is nothing too hard for God. Hakuna kigumu kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Tunasai Mungu anastahili sifa. Tehila. Tehila. Hallelujah. Mm. Mean to sing. Maana yake kuimba. Or to to make a loud noise. Make a loud noise. Hallelujah. Kufanyia Mungu kelele za shamba. The Lord say in the Psalms. Mungu amesema kwa Make a loud noise. Ufanye kelele ya shangwe. Sing with an understanding. Imba kwa ufahamu. Huh? Play with and understand. Kama una instrument that you use. Kinanda au kifaa chochote kile cha kuimbia Mungu, fanya hivyo kwa ufahamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David himself he danced when the ark of the covenant came back to the city of David. Hallelujah. David mwenyewe alimchezea Mungu. Hallelujah. He danced out of his clothes. Hallelujah. Hata mpaka ngozi kamtoka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God hallelujah and, and when it came down to Cicero and how the woman took a nail from the tent and smote him they had a psalm and they took the tambourine and they celebrate hallelujah because God's enemy was destroyed Naona yule mama dada Cicero alivotumia msumari wa mrefu kumgonga kichwa cha adui walimwimbia nyimbo za kumsifu hallelujah The Israel walked around Jericho seven times with the ark of the covenant they went over the lost shout and the wall came down hallelujah there's going to be a loud noise when Jesus returns a trumpet is going to sound the sound of the, of the archangel proclaiming the Lord hallelujah and the Lord is going to return and a shout hallelujah and a two-edged sword out of his mouth which is the word of God king of king lord of lord Lord on his vesture. Mfano wa Are you ready? Upo Are you ready to meet Jesus? Uko tayari kutana na Yesu? Is it well with your soul? with your soul. You got to say you got to say I got to give God the praise. Kama ni salama rohoni mwako, unapaswa kusema napaswa kumpa Mungu praise. Praise the Lord. You got to give God the glory. Unapaswa kumpa Mungu tukufu. Hallelujah. Oh God of praise. Hallelujah. Tunamdaiwa na Mungu sifa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Neno linafuata ni zamaa. Zamaa. Hallelujah. Is a Hebrew word for meaning to Pluck the strings, how the Hallelujah. strings instrument. Yaani ni kama kucheza kinanda kama kama nani uh, uh, guitar. Like the harp. Mm-hmm. Give it. Hallelujah. Kinanda. The word of God said that God put an evil spirit on King Saul. Tunaona Mungu kwenye neno la Mungu linasema Mungu aliweka roho ya kumsumbua Sauli. And the only way he got any peace was when David came and played Hallelujah the harp. In Psalms. Na njia ambayo atapata amani ni mpaka Daudi aje acheze kinanda. The one that's trying to the same one that's trying to kill him, the only peace that he can get is from the man of God coming to minister to him. Yule yule ambaye ana siku zote anatafuta kumuua ndio ambaye alitakiwa ni mmoja tu huyo peke yake atamletea amani. There are many that are out to vex your spirit today. Kuna mengi wengi leo wanajaribu kukwaza roho yako. The spirit of antichrist is not only real in the world but in a lot of our homes. Unaona hii roho ya mpinga Kristu iko duniani na kwenye wengi wetu iko kwenye majumba yetu pia. And our family members. Kwenye ndugu watu wa familia zetu. And you still praying for their peace. Na bado nawaombea amani yao. You still praying for their joy. Bado nawaombea furaha You still praying hallelujah for their salvation. Bado naombea kwa ajili ya wokovu wao. And they say no 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 no. Na wanakuambia hapana hapana hapana. Holy Ghost. Wakimpinga Roho Mtakatifu. But God in all his divine mercy. Lakini Mungu kwa rehema zake. Allow your light to shine in that home. Anaruhusu mwangazo wako ungae katika nyumba ile. Give them a chance to wake up the next day. 
kumpa nafasi na anawapa neema ya kuamka siku na ufuata wanapumua hewa yake wakaona jua lake wakawa hata na amani ya kufanya vitu vyao kwa sababu ya maombi yako endelea kumsifu Mungu endelea kumtunikia Mungu endelea kumwamini Mungu endelea kunyenyekea chini ya mkono wa Mungu haleluya play on the high tutumia vifaa mbalimbali vya kutambarin kuna hizo kama piano kinanda unaona kuna maandiko linasema kwa kinanda haleluya yani ni, ni, ni siri kubwa sana za Mungu something that wasn't invented until now kitu ambacho kili wakati huo kilikuwa hata kijatengenezwa. Mungu alishasema kituseme tufanye hivyo sasa hivi. And you say they had organs 3000 years ago? Na sasa miaka 3000 walikuwaaga na Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah Jesus. Things we don't understand but we're going to understand it by and by. Vitu ambavyo vingine vingi hatuvielewi tutakuja kuvielewa siku zijazo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tada. Tada. Uh, to die. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Now means to, die. to shout. Mm-hmm. And, to shout or to address mm-hmm. with a loud voice including an attitude of gratitude for God's promise for deliverance. The mm-hmm. For deliverance for mm-hmm. his promises. Amen. Hallelujah. Even while we are still in need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A uh, 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 a prize of lifting up the hands, uh-huh. lifting up the hands, Hallelujah! And not provoking God, but mm. invoking God's yes. help, mm. invoking God's presence mm-hmm. to be with you, mm-hmm. Hallelujah! A praise of having faith and assurance that is well, even before the victory actually comes. Yani ile no toda, Hallelujah! Ni nasiri kubwa sana ni usi wakati ule tena wiki ni kwa nikishauriana na mtu unamsifu Mungu kabla hujaona ushindi unamsifu Mungu kabla hujaona majibu unamsifu Mungu wakati hali yako bado haijabadilika lakini unashikilia zile ahadi alizokupatia ipo siri kubwa sana sisi sio watu tu wa kushindi Mungu ametuahidi katika neno lake kwamba sifa ni za Mungu ambaye anatupa ushindi kupitia bwana wetu bwana wetu Yesu Kristo but more than conquerors through him. Hallelujah. sio kutufanya tu washindi tu bali zaidi ya washindi katika yeye. Hallelujah. But this praise of God be for me who can be against me. Na sifa kama hii mbele za Mungu ni nani atakuwa mbele yetu? The enemy come one way at me God say he will scatter them in seven different ways. Adui akija njia moja Mungu amesema atamtambaratisha njia saba katika njia hii will fight my battle. Mungu amesema atapigania vita vyangu. Hallelujah. He will prepare a table for me in the midst of my enemies. Mungu ameahidi atanitarishia meza katikati ya adui zangu. God say I will see my enemies fall. Hallelujah. Mungu ameona adui zangu akianguka sababu ya dhambi zao. Hallelujah. I can proclaim their name in the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I even see the victory, I know it's already done. Yaani nitatamka neno la Bwana kwa sifa nikijua tayari hata kama sijaliona sijapokea tayari ameshanitendea. The devil knows he got but a short time. Shetani anajua ana muda mfupi sana. He knows he's defeated. Anajua alishashindwa. He knows he has no power on. Anajua ana nguvu juu ya watakatifu. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. We all God are praying. Tunadaiwa na Mungu sifa. Hallelujah. Shabak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Neno sabak. Another shabak. Form of Jewish praise. Ni aina ya sifa ya Kiyahudi. Another form of Christian praise. Yaani ni ni sifa ya Kikristo. Also means to shout. Ninasema kutoa kelele kubwa. Shout with a loud tone. Na sauti kubwa sana with a loud voice. Na sauti kubwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God restored Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he was had the claws of an eagle out mm. in the field. Mm. Seven years tormented God when he restored his mind. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He shot the words. He shabbat the Lord with a praise. Yani his shabbat ni aina ya sifa ambayo Nebuchadnezzar alitoa baada ya akili yake kurudishwa maana alikuwa akiishi nyikani kama mnyama. Alitoa shabbat 
praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you should have received the Holy Ghost with joy. And I'm blessed assurance that I'm saved, saved, saved. I was at the altar and I was turned for the Holy Ghost on a Sunday morning celebrating the time of the Hallelujah Pentecost. Hallelujah the birth of the church. But I just believed God that He was going to fill me with His Spirit. But I kept, you got to keep pressing your way. You got to believe. I believe God for Hallelujah for being saved and being and the promise of sanctifying me making me holy sanctifying me and making me holy with the Holy Ghost I put my all on the altar the People kicking me. Watu People touching me. Watu I kept my mind on you. Yangu ni kwa Yesu. Just I Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 And I began to speak in tongues and the Lord. They were in the upper room, they spoke in tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. The definition of utterance it means for a sign. Hallelujah. I had the Holy Ghost in the upper room. In the upper room, how they received the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I got it. Nothing but the Holy Ghost. I can't explain all of it, but I know I got it. Hallelujah. 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 And the last Hebrew praise that we use so often is hallelujah. 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 God in the highest. Hallelujah is the highest praise Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is the premier word for praise in the Bible. Outcry of one who is excited about God. When I think of the goodness of Jesus all that he's done for me my soul my soul Hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. Do you have a hallelujah prayer? The angels around the throne. In the chapter Acts. 
Matendo ya Mitume 19. Correct in the 19 chapter of Revelation. Yaani usamahani ufunuo wa Yohana 19. What did they shout? Hallelujah. Wanaita haleluya naimba haleluya. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Mungu mwenyezi. Everybody bowing and shouting hallelujah. Yaani wakimwinamia kule mbinguni akisema haleluya. In on earth as it is in heaven. Duniani kama vile mbinguni. We have to give him the praise. Tunataka tumpe Mungu utukufu. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. You should be excited always. Inapata muda wote uwe unamfurahia Bwana. You should be excited for all times. Muda wote ambao unashukurani na Mungu. Haleluya. Kwa Mungu mambo yote fanyia wengi atukustahili kuwa hapa. Mengi ambayo ametuepusha mengi atuonea mengi sana. You minister the word of God. Unadaiwa sifa. Haleluya. You minister the word of God to others because you want to see them say. Unajitahidi unawapa watu neno la Mungu kwa sababu ungependa na wao wakolewe. They receive the, they receive the word. Wana wewe kuna wana upokea neno. They receive the Holy Ghost. Wana pokea Roho Mtakatifu. They believe Jesus is Lord. Wana mwasiumu kwamba Yesu wana muamini Yesu ni Bwana. And we rejoice hallelujah Suna because Tuna mfurahia Bwana. Tuna mfurahia Mungu tu kwa sababu sisi ni hapa ni same word as you guys. Kana pastoria hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Same word. Hallelujah. The same somebody else. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. She said he ain't saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all got to pray. Alituarumia akatoka wa Mungu. We all got to pray. Bali na kuinua watu wa Mungu, tendelea kutumikia watu wa Mungu, waokoe watu wake. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wa kuteseka mno watu wa Mungu. Thank you Jesus. Kuna watu wa ni Mungu ya bidi wanapeleka siku hadi siku. Hallelujah. Itura yani tunapitia sisi mara nyingi katika utumishi kuna mambo mengi ya kwa tuni madogo si kitu. Haleluya tupe Mungu siku ya utukufu kila ukiamka asubuhi. Kila ukirudi nyumbani alimpa Mungu utukufu. Haleluya. Mungu ni mwema. Yes Lord. Yesu ni mwema. Yes Lord. Yesu ni mwaminifu. Haleluya. We serve our Father. Tunamtumikia Mungu ile mwaminifu. We serve our Father. Mungu mwenye rehema. Amani. Asaidi sisi kwa utukufu. Wana mwambie Mungu hakuna maneno yanayostahili Mungu lugha zinanishia kukusifu yanapostahili. Alijua ni tell God sometimes my language is deficit on how I want to praise him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is a very wonder in our soul. Mungu ni wajabu sana roho mwetu. Tuendelee kumtafuta Mungu. Tutaone kama wajinga tumechanganyikiwa lakini yes, Mungu anastahili sifa na utukufu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way God. There God. Since we owe God a Mungu praise. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I can't help from you. Si ni muda tu hapa duniani. Hallelujah. Wewe macho yako mbinguni. Tunataka mbingu. Tunamlilia Mungu atusaidie tustahili kuingia mbinguni. Keep you. pressing on. The Jesus. suffering that we're going through here on earth is only for a time. Yes. Keep our yes. eyes on Jesus. It cannot be compared to the glory that we will be healed. Na wao tukufu maisha ya milele mbinguni. Kukuepusha na jehanamu, hakuna kinachoingilisha na hiyo. Wewe kaa tayari masaa 20. Continue to redeem the time. Kuwa wenda lazima kwa ajili ya Yesu. Continue to make full cool in your mind. Kwa ajili ya Yesu, chekwa kwa ajili ya Yesu, dharauliwa kwa ajili ya Yesu. Do the right things which are pleasing in God's sight. Fanya yana mpeleza Mungu machoni pake usichoke. Nakwambia siku hizi ni changamoto kuliko changamoto unavyoelewa. That you be without spot or blemish when you. Kwa ukutwe hauna mawaa, hauna kasoro yote. Coming back for a church without spot. Na rudi kwenye kanisa lililo takatifu lisilokuwa na mawaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. na wengi. Nakuambia well unachokutafuta. Well done thy good and faithful servant. Unataka waambiwe kazi njema mtumishi wangu. You want a good report. Unataka taarifa njema kutoka kwa Mungu. Angaikia, mwangaikie Yesu, angaikia roho za watu kuokolewa. He made a way. Tunza utakatifu. And he still making a way. Na bado anatengeneza njia. For the Lord say I will open a I will open a door for you that no man. Mungu ameshasema atafungua mlango kwa ajili yako ambao mwingine hakuna atakaye kufunga. Hallelujah. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come to me. Nira yangu amesema ni nyepesi. 
The Lord said, "Come to me for your peace." Nenda kwake kwa ajili ya maji yako. Come to me for your joy. Nenda kwa ajili ya furaha yako. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Chukua nira yake na ujifunze kwa maana yeye it'll be easy for you. Itakuwa rahisi yeye mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Na mnyofu wa Mungu. The promises of God are sure and amen. Ahadi za Mungu ni ya uhakika katika jina yake. Amen who trusts in the Lord. Amebarikiwa yule anayemwamini katika jina Yesu. Hallelujah. Good God is good to all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the end that word praise. Katika jina neno hilo sifa. When you go inside and you pull the root of that. Ukiangalia msingi wa hilo neno, it means to have value. Inamaanisha kuwa na thamani. To have value to to be of price. Yaani kuwa ni kama tuzo yenye thamani. Hallelujah. The blood of Christ on Calvary's cross. Jinja damu ya Yesu kwenye msalaba wa Calvary. For the sins of the world. Kwa ajili ya dhambi za ulimwengu. It has value. Ina thamani kubwa sana. Tunaichezea, tunaichukulia kijepesi tu. Hallelujah. Our liberty, the Holy Ghost given to us. Uhuru tuliopewa sisi wanadamu. It has great price. Ina thamani kubwa sana. Usitumie uhuru wako kwa kutenda dhambi kwa kesho sio kwamba hauna sauja pewa tamaa hauna thamani wewe uko huru like god now is freely given freely received ni sawa na maarifa ya Mungu yamepatikana bure na yanatolewa bure the only condition is that you have to believe yani sharti lake ni moja tu unatakiwa kuamini believe what the day they come to jesus must believe that he is that he's what that he's god and he's a rewarder of those that constantly diligently seek him tumeambiwa kwamba wale wajao kwa kwa Yesu ni wale ambao wanatakiwa wanyenyekee na waamini na yeye hutoa tija hutoa thawabu kwa wale ambao wanamtafuta kwa bidii tunapomsifu Mungu tunapompa Bwana tunapo tunaposifu kwa sauti kuu haleluya haleluya tunapenda kusifu na kumchezea Mungu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John 3 and 16. Yohana 3:16. John 3:16 it says for God so loved the world. Yohana that he gave his only yes. begotten son. Mm-hmm. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yohana 3:16 anasema kwa maana jinsi jinsi hii Mungu alipenda ulimwengu hata kamtoa mwanawe pekee ili kila mtu amwamini asipotee bali awe na uzima wa milele Luke 4:18-19 Ukienda 4:18 Luka 4:18 18 and verse 19 it said the spirit Jesus said when he took the book from the minister in the synagogue mm-hmm. say that please Yesu alisema alipochukua kile kitabu pale sinagogi kutoka kwa mtumishi And he mingu. turned the page in the book where where was Isaiah the 61st Akafungua kwenye Isaya 61. And Jesus this is what he came to do for us. Na hichi ndio alichokuja kufanya kwa ajili yetu. Nitakachosoma hapa. And this supports the fact of this message that we owe God. I mean to remind you that we owe God a praise. Na hiyo inatukumbusha kwa nini tunapaswa tunadaiwa sifa na Mungu. And Jesus read from the book Yesu alisoma kutoka kwenye kile kitabu The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm-hmm. Read that please. Roho wa Bwana yuju yangu kwa maana amenitia mafuta kuwahubiri masikini habari njema. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. Amenitangazia amenituma kuwatangazia wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao to preach deliverance to the captives. Hallelujah kuwatangazia wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao and to re- and recovering of the sight of the blind na vipofu kuwa, kupata kuona tena to set at liberty them that are bruised kuacha huru walio setwa to preach the acceptable year of the lord na kutangaza mwaka wa bwana uliokubaliwa oh, hallelujah hallelujah That's why we owe God ndio maana tunadaiwa sifa na bwana not only for calvary but he came down He healed the sick. 
Yaani tunamtaka kumsifu bwana sio tu kwa kavari bali ameanaponya ame, aliponya anafufua watu anaondoa mapepo analisha wengi anaisha wengi na kuhubiri njia and sacrifice his life on Calvary for the sins of the world na ku, alitoa maisha yake atamani kwenye msalaba wa Calvary kama vile Yesu alivyoteseka katika mwili jitarisha na wewe hivyo hivyo usishangae mateso unayopitia the lord say i do great works but greater works you shall do Yesu alisema yeye amefanya kazi kubwa lakini sisi tutafanya tunapaswa kufanya kazi kubwa kuliko yeye alivyozifanya not by my power not by my might but by my spirit said the lord sio kwa nguvu wala kwa kwa mamlaka yote bali kwa roho wake mtakatifu asema bwana first timothy 3:16 Timotheo wa kwanza 3:16 First Timothy 3:16 it says and without controversy great is the mystery of God read it Na bila shaka siri ya utaua ni kuu Great is the mystery of godliness uh, siri ya utaua ni kuu God was manifest in the flesh Mungu alidhihirishwa katika mwili justified in the spirit akajulika kuwa na haki katika roho seen of angels akaonekana na malaika priest unto the gentiles akahubiriwa katika mataifa believed on in the world akaaminika katika ulimwengu received up in glory akachukuliwa juu katika utukufu and when jesus ascended into to, to heaven through the clouds the of the great multitude of witnesses that were standing by and looking wakati Yesu anaeluliwa mawinguni kwenda mbinguni kulikuwa kuna mashahidi wengi watu wengi walikuwa mahali pale two men in white that i perceive were angels and said men brother what you standing around here watching and looking for malaika mwishoni kaoliza mko hapo mnasubiri nini the same jesus that ascended into heaven he coming back Yesu huyu mlio wana alienda mawinguni atarudi. Haleluya Jesus. Anarudi watu watakatifu. Anarudi watu wa Mungu. What you stand around? What you waiting for? Unasubiri nini? Unazubaa nini? Unabisha nini? The Holy Ghost what you waiting on? Wewe unapokea Roho Mtakatifu. Unasubiri nini na watumishi wa Mungu wanazidi kukubembeleza kila siku? Tafuteni Roho Mtakatifu. Wengi mnaambiwa baptizwa kwa jina la Yesu. Unasubiri nini watu wa Mungu njoo tukusaidie njoo tutakuelekeza tafadhali unasubiri nini naomba nikwambie kuna Bwana mmoja tu imani ni moja tu ubatizo ni moja tu one, one God Mungu mmoja ambao ni juu ya wote kupitia wote na ndani ya ninyi Mungu ni mmoja Jesus made it clear me and my father are one. Mungu aliweka wazi kwamba yeye na baba ni wamoja. And saints as people of God in his body in his church we are one with Christ. Na sisi watakatifu tunaye muamini katika mwili wa Kristo. Sisi ni wamoja na Kristo. Which you wait no. Unangojea nini mtu wa Mungu? Unangojea nini? Acha tutana dhambi. Matendo ya mitume 238 ndio mpango wa wokovu. Achana na dini, achana na dhehebu, achana na mapokeo uliyopokea. Nitayarisha kwa neno la Mungu ende mbinguni. Paul the man of God the apostles say Mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo alisema Be careful that you don't have an evil heart of unbelief. Alisema kuwa mwangalifu usiwe na moyo muovu usioamini. God call unbelief hallelujah uh, 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 doubt unbelief evil. Mungu alisema kwenye neno lake kutokuamini ni uovu. You should Zambi. your mindset your spirit in your spirit you should say jesus is mine ndani ya moyo wako inapata useme kwa uhakika kwamba yesu ni wangu amenifanya you should be saying blessed assurance jesus is mine inabidi wewe wimbo nao sema yani nina nina uhakika kwamba yesu ni wangu oh what a forte of glory divine haleluya kuna wewe wimbo huwa anawimba and salvation purchased by blood yani amenunuliwa amenunuliwa kwa damu ya thamani born of the spirit washed in his blood amezaliwa katika roho amesafishwa kwa damu yake ni wimbo wa tunaimba this we is my glory life. yes we are speaking life hallelujah and as we sing and as we praise god the word of god says singing inwardly and outwardly always giving praise always giving glory how does some of you have a, a song a hymn a spiritual song 
Yaani unatakiwa umsifu Mungu kwa sauti na saa nyingine kwa ndani. Inategemea na mazingira uliopo. Lakini muda wote unatakiwa umsifu Bwana kwa moyo unyenyekevu. Ukijitakasa masai shina nne we, Yesu anakuja muda wote. We instructed by the word of God by his commandments to do it all to the glory of God. Tumeambiwa tufanye yote haya kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Hallelujah. And with our praise unto the Lord. Na tuomsifu Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. In all thy ways acknowledge him. Katika njia zetu zote tumsifu bwana and praising and seeking god he will direct our path naye atatuongoza hatua zetu haleluya 1 corinthians 11:23 wa korinto wa kwanza 11:23 first corinthians 11 chapter 23 we do holy communion tunazungumzia communion takatifu Jesus, we sing the song Jesus I'll never forget what you done for me. Kuna wimbo wetu unaimba Yesu sitasahau yote uliyonitendea. Jesus I'll never forget how you set me free. Yesu sitasahau ulivoniweka huru. Jesus I'll never forget how you brought me out. Yesu sitasahau jinsi ulivoniokoa. No, no, not never I will never forget. Daima kamwe sitasahau. And Jesus don't want you to forget. Yesu hataki usahau. Ndio maana tusahau. Well, that's where hope, mm. that's where holy communion comes in. Ndio maana yani ukiamka asubuhi unamuhibidi Bwana Yesu asante bila wewe anything amka siku ya leo Yesu asante nimeingia kazini salama haleluya siku na mchana unamsifu Bwana unamuhibidi Bwana Amen and the, it says here in the 23rd verse it says mm-hmm. and I have received of the Lord mm-hmm. that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread Inasema kwa maana mimi nalipokea kwa Bwana Niliyo hapa nanyi ya kuwa Bwana Yesu siku ule aliyotolewa alitoa mkate and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me naye akiisha kushukuru aka omega akasema huu ndio mwili wangu ulio kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu after the same manner he took the he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me Mstari wa 25 inasema na vivi hivi baada ya kula akakitoa kikombe akisema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnywapo kwa ukumbusho wangu It's not a piece of bread. Sio kipande cha mkate mtu wa Mungu. It's not grape juice. Sio juice ile ya mzabibu. Hapana. The body and blood of Christ. Bali ni mwili na damu ya Yesu. And we doing it in remembrance of Calvary cross the sacrifice that was made for our liberty. Tunafanya hivyo kukumbuka ile kafara aliyoitoa kwa ajili ya uhuru wetu ondoleo la dhambi. The the broken body of the lord mwili ule ulio 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 megwa ulio ulio pondeka and the blood of christ for the taking away and remission of sin na ile damu ya yesu ambayo ndio inatuondolea dhambi lakini ukiwa umeokoka sawa sawa usijidanganye na njia hii in the old testament he would do a new thing amesema atafanya kitu kipya he said this is the new testament in my blood. Amesema hii ni agano jipya katika damu yangu. As often as you drink of this cup do it in remembrance of me. Amesema kila mnapofanya hivi fanyeni kwa ukumbusho wangu. As often it, you know Mara nyingi wewe zavyo. So some might say well how many times do you have Mara ngapi mtu anauliza? Some some places of worship they may have it every month. Wengine wanafanya makanisa mengine kila mwezi. I've heard some had it once a year. Wengine nime amesikia kwamba mara moja kwa mwaka. I don't think once a year. Sidhani kama mara moja kwa mwaka. Don't qualify with the word often. Yaani often mara nyingi bara kwa mara tumeambiwa sidhani. It, it, it goes with the word once. One time. Yaani inamaanisha mara moja tu. But as often as you eat of uh, take of his broken body and shed blood you doing it in remembrance of him. Yaani mara nyingi sababu wewe unapokea mwili wake na damu yake tufanye mara kwa mara kumkumbuka. Disciples if you if you don't eat of my body and drink of my blood you have no part with me. Amesema mtu aliyeokoka alafu hanywi mwili wake wala wala damu yake kama kumbukumbu ha sio hana sehemu naye Mungu. Amen. And, and and he let those that were around him know if you don't eat of my body and drink of my blood you have no not just no part with me you won't you won't have any life. Yaani anasema usipo tumshiriki communion kama mtu aliyeokoka kwa mkufuata maelekezo 
Huna sehemu na Mungu. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say. Anasikia, asikia roho ya Mungu. We all God to praise. Tunadaiwa sifa na Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And 28 it says, let so let a man, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Mstari wa 28 anasema, lakini mtu ajihoji mwenyewe, na hivyo aule mkate na kukinywea kikombe. I explain the the broken body and the shed blood of Christ. You need to examine yourself and see whether you are actually worthy to do it. Because if you do not qualify, if you do not qualify as a saint, if you do not qualify with as a child of God with God's spirit. Kama ukiwa na roho wa wa Mungu ndani yako. This is what can happen to you. Hiyo ndio kinachoweza kutokea na tunachosoma kinachoelezea. It says hallelujah. Uh 29. Mstari wa 29 kwanza. It says for he that eateth and drinketh unworthy eateth and drinketh damnation to himself not discerning the Lord's body. Maana mstari wa 29 unasema alaye na kunywa hula na kunywa hukumu ya nafsi yake kwa kutokupambanua ule mwili yani thamani ya ule mwili kwamba ule mwili ni nini examine yourself and see whether you're worthy of it mara nyingi kabla ya kupokea komunio ya bwana meza ya bwana jichunguze kama unastahili if you go on through the motions because everybody else is doing it kama unafanya tu mkumbo kwa sababu wengine wanafanya hivyo if you see it as a cracker and some grape juice kama unaona tu ni juice ya kawaida na na mkate tu wa kawaida you can bring damnation onto yourself unajiletea hukumu juu yako wewe in this heaven Utakosa mbingu. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, yes. Number 30. It says, for this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. Kwa sababu hiyo mstari wa 30 unasema wako wengi kwenu walio hawawezi na dhaifu na watu kadhaa wa kadhaa wamelala maana yake wamekutwa na mauti. If you're not taken in sincerity and holy un- as unto the Lord, usipochukua kwa uaminifu na kwa utakatifu mbele za Bwana, you can get weak. Utanikuta unadhoofika. You can get sick. Utanikuta unapata magonjwa tu yaleweka. The way it says sleep, it means you die. Na hapa anapozungumzia kulala ni kifo. 31 it said for we will judge ourselves we should not be judged. Mstari wa 31 anasema lakini kama tungejipambanua nafsi zetu Tusinge hukumiwa. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Mstari wa 32 unasema ili tuhukumiwapo tuarudiwa na Bwana isije ikatupasa adhabu pamoja na dunia. Adhabu gani? Moto wa milele. This next verse is going to explain what he said in the other two verses. Mstari unaofuata unaifafanua alichosema kwenye mstari. It's going to get, it's going to get to the point. Itaelezea vizuri. Wherefore, the 33rd verse. It mm. said, "Wherefore, my brother, mm. when you come together to eat, turn one for another." And 34 it says, "And if any man hunger, mm. let him eat at home." Mm-hmm. That ye come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Umeona alisema kwa hiyo ndugu zangu, mkutanipo Mkutani kapo mpate kula mngoja neni mtu akiwa na njaa na ale nyumbani kwake msipate kukutanika kwa hukumu na hayo yaliyosalia ni japo nitayatengeneza Don't come to the Lord's table for fast food Usije kwenye meza ya Bwana ukiwa na haraka zako Don't come to the Lord's yako. table just for a meal Unakuja tu kwa ajili ya kula tu or to be seen or to just let people know how holy you are you with them kuwajulisha watu kama vile unajifanya huko nao lakini kumbe ustahili wewe kama una njaa kabla hapo tangulia kwanza kula nyumbani kama hujaenda amen and 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 those that are coming for holy communion you know sometimes some are uh, coming it could be various reasons why they may be delayed or late Unakuta saa nyingine wenzako wamecheleweshwa pale kanisani kuja. The Bible say try one for another. That mean wait. Bwana anasema msubiri, msubiri ni yaa, msubiri ria nane. But if you come, if you come, you hungry, eat at home. Don't come to the Lord's table which is holy. Kama ukija na njaa, 
for a meal. Kula nyumbani kwanza. Sidhani hapo ile unakuja kushimia. For some fast food. Utapata hukumu. 1 Corinthians 2 and 2. Wa Korinto wa, pi, wa kwanza 2:2. Hallelujah. And and while I'm on communion. Ni wakati niko kwenye communion. Hii communion takatifu. All of us wash feet. Wengi tunanaa miguu. We wash feet because Jesus washed feet. Kwa sababu Yesu alifanya hivyo. Jesus washed the disciples feet. Yesu aliwaosha wa wanafunzi wake miguu. But you have some preachers that are in error to say it's not needed. Unaona watumishi wa Mungu wengine wanasema hamna haja. You got some preachers that say that you don't need to be baptized in water. Unaona wengine wanasema hutakiwi kubatizwa kwenye maji mengi. Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? That's incorrect. Lakini hiyo sio sahihi. Because Jesus himself, kwa sababu Yesu mwenyewe, he took a towel. Alichukua taulo kitambaa. And he washed his disciples' feet. Akaosha wanafunzi wake miguu. And he asked them, "Do you understand what I do?" Na akauliza mnaelewa ninachokifanya? He said, "If I your Lord, he said, what I do, the, I do for an example. Ninafanya kama mfano. That if I your Lord and master wash your feet. Ndipo mimi bwana wenu, bwana wenu ninaosha miguu. That you are to wash one another feet also. Mimi ninapaswa muoshane miguu yenu hivyo hivyo. He did it as an example. Alifanya kama mfano. The Bible, the word of God, we live by by example. Tunaishi kwenye neno la Mungu kwa mfano. Amen. Wa Yesu Christo, As God commands. Kama Yesu alipo, Mungu alipo, uh, amrisha. And the washing of feet is in conjunction with a holy communion. Na mara ndio maana kwenye komunio takatifu kuna kuoshana miguu siku hiyo. Pastors have made it optional. Watumishi wa Mungu wamejionea kwamba ni kwa yani kwa hiari tu. But when they were in the upper room, lakini walipokuwa kwenye chumba kile pale juu. They had holy communion. Walipata communion takatifu. They wash each other feet. Wakanaosha mikono na kaosha. And the word of God say they left singing a hymn. Na wakamwambia Mungu inasema waliondoka wakiimba tenzi za roho. Haleluya. Wakimsifu Bwana. Haleluya. Look it up. Katafute kwenye andiko. Tafute scriptures. Chunguza maandiko, tulia na maandiko soma. Na tunachosema ni kweli. It was done for our example. Ilisemwa hivyo kwa mfano. Holy communion, washing of feet, but they left singing a praise. Waliondoka wakimsifu Bwana. Hallelujah, give God a praise. Mpe Bwana sifa na utukufu. We all God a praise. Tunastahili sifa kwa mnadaiwa, tunataiwa na sifa na Bwana. Haleluya. First Corinthians 2 and 2. Bili mbili wa Korinto wa kwanza and we're going to read tutasoma to the ninth verse paka mstari wa 9 1 Corinthians 2 and 2 yes. it says for i determined not to know anything among you mm-hmm. say jesus christ and him crucified maana naliazimu nisijue neno lolote kwenu ila yesu kristo naye amesubuliwa sasa it's stay the course watumishi wa mungu watu wa mungu Tubaki kwenye njia. Preach the word. We ubiri injili. Hata maneno mengine mengi. Let it's for the saving of the soul. Ni kwa ajili ya kuokoa roho za watu. All these other things that are going on around us, yes, we're concerned. Yes. Ndio, mambo yale tuzunguka ndio. Yanatutia yanatutia yanatutatiza mfahamu zetu ndio. But you say if you love me keep my commandments. Lakini Yesu amesema mkini mkini penda tini amri zangu. These are the last days we are trying to win as many souls as we can before hizi, Jesus comes. Hizi ni siku za mwisho. Tunajitahidi kuokoa za watu kuokoa roho za watu wengi kwa kazi Mungu atakavyotupa neema kwa ajili ya utukufu wake. First Corinthians 2 and 3. Mstari wa 3 unasema. It says and I was with you in weakness and in fear mm-hmm. and in much turmoil. Aliwaambia nami nalikuwako kwenu katika hali ya udhaifu na hofu na matetemeko mengi. And much trembling. Na matetemeko mengi. And we we're with hallelujah those that are experiencing war in other countries we're with those that have been experiencing diseases and and being hospitalized for every month and we're sending up prayers for the nation we're sending up prayers for various con- the continents that are in the world where god people dwell 
unaona wengi sasa hivi wanapitia vita sehemu za mbalimbali duniani wengine wako hospitali wana magonjwa wengine wanaoguliwa nyumbani wameambiwa nenda hatuwezi kusaidia tena tunainua kila nafasi ukipata kumuombea mtu mwingine kumtegemeza wewe waombea achana na siasa achana na hukumu achana kusema oh labda amestahili hii adha anayopitia wewe omba bwana Yesu awarehemu na waokoe roho zao many people that are in fear wengi wana hofu many people in weakness wengi wako dhaifu many people that are troubled and trembling wengi wanatetemeka hawana amani when one is sad all is sad mmoja kwa na huzuni na wewe uwe na huzuni kwa ajili yao all rejoice all rejoice mmoja kwa wengine wakiwa na furaha na wewe uwe na furaha na wewe wenye furaha wakati wao but it's so confident to know lakini natia moyo kujua that the Lord said I will never leave you nor forsake you. Kwamba Bwana amesema sitakuacha sitakufungukia. And Lord I am with you to the end of the world. Nipo nawe mpaka mwisho wa dahari. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it's confident to know. Inatia inatia faraja kujua. That where I am the Lord is also. Kwamba mimi nilipo popote pale Bwana yuko pamoja nami. The Lord is with us right now. Bwana yuko pamoja nasi hata saa hii wakati huu. Where two or three are gathered he's in the midst. Neno la Mungu linasema wawili watatu watakokusanyika yeye yuko katikati yao. Roho Mtakatifu. Kama wale wa Yahudi vijana watatu walipo katikati ya moto, Bwana akaonekana yuko katikati yao na yeye yuko pamoja nasi katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah where the spirit of the Lord is is liberty. Pale ambapo roho wa Mungu yupo kuna uhuru. Hallelujah. And my speech and my preaching was not with an excellent a words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power na neno langu na kuhubiri kwangu hakukuwa kwa maneno ya hekima yenye kushawishi akili za watu bali kwa dalili za roho na nguvu our praise and our gratitude for the lord and for saving us and what we say to lift up jesus is not in man's wisdom yani maneno tunayosema haya kuchawishi watu waje kwa Kristo waokoke sio tu ni hekima za wanadamu but it's a demonstration of the holy ghost that he put in us of his spirit and of his power yani ni kuonyesha kwa sababu roho wa Mungu ndani yetu anapojaribu kuonesha kwa nguvu yake kuwafikia watu wengi after that the holy ghost has come upon you you shall have power baada hapo roho wa Mungu alisema atakuja na utapewa nguvu acts 1 and 8 matendo ya mitume ya mitume 1 8 amen Amen. To walk right. Kutembea sawa sawa. Right. Kuongea sawa sawa. Pray right. Kuomba sawa sawa. Live right. Kuishi sawa sawa. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. We owe God a praise. Tunadaiwa na Mungu sisi. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. We thank God for his holy spirit. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa roho yake mtakatifu. The fifth verse. Mstari wa 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God. Ili imani yenu isiwe katika hekima ya wanadamu bali katika nguvu za Mungu the praise that's coming, that's coming out of our mouth. Yani maneno yetu. The praise is coming from our heart. Sifu ina sifa inayotoka kwenye mioyo yetu. The praise of having a pure mind towards God and mankind. Yani ki huwa ki yani ki hali ya kuwa na akili ufahamu iliyotakasika iliyokav sawa sawa katika mwana. It's not a man, it's not a man's wisdom, it's not of man's power. It's not of the flesh but it's of the Holy Spirit of God. Sio ya akili za wanadamu au hekima za wanadamu, ni ya Roho Mtakatifu anapoweza kuweka akili ya mtu ikatulia kwa Mungu. Haleluya. When we uh when we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of the world nor of princes of this world. Yes. That come to not Walakini iko hekima tusemayo kati ya wakamilifu ila si hekima ya dunia hii wala ya hao wanao itawala dunia hii wanaobatilika. But we speak the wisdom of God. Tunazungumza hekima ya Mungu. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Amina bali tuwalena hekima ya Mungu katika siri ile hekima iliyofichwa ambayo Mungu aliyazimu tangu milele kwa utukufu wetu. We speak in these words in a mystery. Tunaongea maneno haya ni yani ni siri kubwa ziko ndani yake. The hidden mysteries of God, how the God revealing and giving us a revelation of his word. Mungu anatufichulia wale tulionyenyekea chini yake, wewe unasikiliza na sisi siri zake za mbinguni. Which God he predestinated has given us hallelujah uh, before the world unto 
our glory. Yaani kabla ya hata ulimwengu huo haujaumbwa kwa ajili ya kutukufu wetu sisi kutusaidia tukatukuzwe siku ya mwisho ametupa haya maneno ya God told the prophet I called you from the womb. Alimwambia nabii yule nimekuita kabla hujazaliwa kwenye tumbo la mama yao. Amen. Mama yake. I knew you before you were even created. Nilikujua kabla hata hujaumbwa. Don't say that you're just a little child. Wewe sisi akaanza wewe ni mtoto mdogo. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Mpe Mungu tukufu. He said, I'll give you the power to the 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 pluck up. I'll give you the power to plant. I'll give you the power to build up. I'll give you the power to tear down. Akasema nitakupa nguvu ya kungoa ya kupanda ya kujenga na kubomoa haleluya haleluya i'll give you the authority to go to the nations and say thus says the lord akamwambia nitakupa nani mamlaka ya kwenda kwa mataifa ya kusema asema bwana no worry paul you must go before caesar and testify akamwambia paul aliambiwa usiwe na wasiwasi unatakiwa uende mbele ya caesar kaisari ukatoe ushuhuda give god the glory give god the praise the eighth verse haleluya and says which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it they would have crucified mm-hmm. the lord of glory i'm going to read that again hallelujah i'm going to read number 7 and then i'll read 8 hallelujah but we speak the word of god in a mystery mm-hmm. even the hidden wisdom mm-hmm. which god ordained before the world unto our glory yes which none of the princes of this world knew mm-hmm. for had they known it they would not have crucified the lord of glory hallelujah read those two verses wakorinto 1:2 tutasoma mstari wangalijua wasinga alimsumbua bwana wa utukufu give god Kama the glory wasinga alimsulubisha bwana wa utukufu they would have crucified jesus wasinga alimsulubisha yesu if they know that it were brought for salvation kama wangejua wa kama wangeifahamu kwamba italeta wokovu they would have crucified jesus wasinga alimsulubu bwana yesu if they know if, 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 if satan know that it would give him victory over death kama Shetani angejua kwamba itampa Yesu ushindi juu ya kifo. Nguvu juu ya ya jehanamu. Victory over the grave. Ushindi dhidi ya kaburi. Hallelujah. Him raised being raised with all power. Alipofufuka kwa nguvu yote na mamlaka yote. God didn't have a plan. God did not have He, they say well he had a plan no god has a plan yani wanasema mungu alikuwa na mpango no mungu ana mpango hata leo and the plan was how did to redeem us from our sins na mpango huo ni kutuokoa sisi na dhambi zetu haleluya but the only way it would be done was through his blood lakini hiyo inafanikiwa kwa kwa damu yake kupitia damu yake for without the shedding of blood there is no remission no take away of sin hallelujah kama bila kumwagika damu hakuna ondoleo la dhambi hallelujah We got to give God the glory. Ila mimi tumpe Mungu tukufu. Oh, hallelujah. We got to give we got to give God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood. Asante kwa damu ya Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah believe the first chapter though your sins be red as scarlet he will make you white as snow. Kitabu cha Isaya kinatuambia japo dhambi zetu ni nyekundu kama Kuna Jesus God will God. make you white as snow. Kwa safisho nyeupe kama sikao nyeupe kama theluji. Come let us reason together. Njio hebu tusemezane, tuelezane, tueleweshane. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do your sins be as red as scarlet. Iwapo je ni damu yani he will make you white as snow. Ni kundu kabisa, lakini Mungu atakukwamisha. Unajua damu inaweka alama. Especially on white. Hasa kama kuna nguo nyeupe. And white color au rangi zilizokuwa Mungu anaweza kachukua ile damu shangai akabadilisha utaratibu kwamba nguo nyeupe ni rangi ya watakatifu that worn by saints. Yaani kule mbinguni ndio rangi ya watakatifu. Haleluya. God is able. 
Mungu anaweza. There's nothing too hard for God. Hakuna kigumu kwa Mungu. Hakuna. Yesu hakuna. To do a be a kamata Yesu bizuri. Anatafanya zaidi na mwanaweza kuzania. Kamata neno la Mungu nyenyekea mbele za Mungu. Nyenyekea na kutia roho mtakatifu. Hallelujah. So they would not have crucified him if we were him. The devil he can't he can't torment you. He can't do a lot of things to you because you have power over him. Shetani hapasi kuwa na nguvu kiasi hicho juu yako kwa sababu wewe una nguvu juu yake. I'm going to the store the devil. He's the prince of the airways. He here What's Are you going to the store? Okay, I'll meet you on the street. Anakutana na wewe njiani. Haleluya. Mambo mengine mengine weka tu. It's fools to tell your whole mind. Usipende kusema mipango yako yote wazi. It's fools to answer a matter without hearing. Ni sio hekima kusema kitu kama hujakichunguza. But don't do like Hezekiah and invite the fools things and invite the enemy in to see his his weapons of war. Usifanye makosa kama aliyofanya Hezekiah. Kamwa kamleta adui, kamkaribisha adui kaenda kumuonesha mali zake zote alizokuwa nazo. Kiburi ni kibaya sana. To give these strangers. Ujisifu kujiona ni kibaya. Our noble nation a tour of his own. Akawapa nyumbani kwake wote, akawapa ziara nyumbani kwake akaonesha kila kitu. To show him all his money. Pesa zake zilipo, mali zake zilipo. That was very foolish. Yaani ilikuwa ni alikosa hekima kabisa. And he he went down and sleep in peace but at the same time kwa amani eti baada ya He said it's God say you going to suffer for it. Mungu akamwambia utateseka kwa jina. Because they're going to come and take everything that you had. Watakuja kuchukua kila ulichokuwa nacho. They're going to make your children in the concubine. Na watafanya mabinti zako za kwa the word of God. Makaaba kwa wakiwa. He has the ear let him hear what the spirit has to say. Don't be telling the devil how to do your whole mind. Acha kusema sana. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Kwa kushoto usijua mkwangu upande wa kulia na. Don't invite the devil into your home. Haribisha shetani nyumbani kwako. As God as as hallelujah. As Joshua said, you might have, you, have said, you might serve idol gods like you did on the other side of the world. Aliwaambia wale wana wa Israeli, mlikuwa mnatumikia miungu mingine kule Israeli na Misri. If that's what you want to do, you go ahead and do. Kama unataka kufanya endeleeni. But as for me and my house. Sema lakini mimi na nyumba yangu. We going to serve the Lord. Tutamtumikia Bwana. The word of God say in the New Testament. Katika Agano Jipya leo Mungu linasema. If somebody come to your door with a gospel. Kwako na injili nyingine. Don't let them in. Usimruhusu kuja ndani. Because you will be a partaker of their sin. Utakuwa unashiriki dhambi zao. You don't understand it. Well, you don't know that. Look it up. Nenda kaangalie kwenye maandiko. I can bring scripture no, no, I can no, tell you the scripture but you know what he said if you seek me you're going to find me. Neno lake linasema ukinitafuta utanipata. Study your Bible. Soma Biblia yako. Study the word of God. Soma neno la Mungu. Because that's the only thing you need. Ndio cha cha dawa wewe. Upigania shetani siku za mwisho. Huna sala nyingine. That's the only thing you need to feed the old, the Holy Ghost. Ndio cha shetani kulisha roho wako. The spirit of God. Roho wa Mungu aliyeko ndani yako. Apate nguvu. We can let the devil in. Apate nguvu. We can invite the devil in. And a little level level a whole lot you can invite the devil in and you it be if you can have some problem getting him out. Unaweza kumkaribisha shetani mara mara nyingine ni vigumu kumtoa. You invite a witch in to a Ouija board and you going to have some problem getting him out. Kuna watu wanatumia vitu vya kishirikina huku unatumia vitu vya kishirikina vitu vya kipepo inakuwa ni kazi kumtoa ndani amejaa kwa watoto amejaa kwa familia wana familia inakuwa ni ngumu kumtoa stay holy live holy and give god the praise mpe bwana utukufu we all god of praise tunampa sifa utukufu bwana yesu hallelujah, hallelujah. i just want to conclude this tamaliza kusema kwamba hallelujah first corinthians 2 verse 9 but as it is written eyes have not seen mm-hmm. nor ears heard mm-hmm. neither have it entered into the hearts of men yes the things in which god had prepared for them that love him ndasoma wa korinto wa kwanza sura ya 2 lakini kama ilivyoandikwa mambo ambayo jicho halikuyaona wala sikio halikuyasikia wala hayakuingia katika mioyo ya wanadamu ya mwanadamu mambo ambayo mungu aliwaandalia wampendao asemna seen no pende mungu he said hope for those things in which you hmm don't see because those things that you don't see mm. are eternal in the heaven. Yaani usiye nende zaidi kwa vitu vinavyoonekana, nenda kwa vitu visivyoonekana. Maana vile visivyoonekana ni vya milele. 
Mpende Mungu kwa kila kitu. No man has seen God and lived but God promised that he will receive us and not only receive us that we will see him face to face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mungu ametuahidi uso kwa uso. Let me say something about mm. loving God. Yes. People should love God 100%. Yes. Not in part. Not in this part of their life. Oh, here Lord, I follow you. I love you mm. here. Love God even when you are you are you, you are being seen like you, you you crazy. Like you being seen like you're a fanatic. Yes. Like hey, it doesn't take all that. Love God that much. Yes. In everything in your life. Yes. Let me say this for him. Yaani mpende Mungu katika yote. Sio unachagua hapa unaacha hapa. Mpende Mungu hata ukionekana ueleweki, ukionekana umechanganyikiwa, mpende Mungu katika maeneo yako yote ya maisha. Kuna gharama kumfuata Mungu. Asikudanganye mtu wa Mungu. Kuna gharama. Kama ulipiga gharama kumfuata Kristo. Kama u, hakuna uh, maneno kuhusu wokovu wao kwamba huyu amezidi kupita kiasi bado bado hujampenda Mungu the greatest gift of all is love yani zawadi ya thamani kuliko yote ni upendo and you have the holy ghost na unaye roho mtakatifu you have the spirit of love una roho ya upendo ndani yako wapende ya mizamu you have spirit of love una roho wa upendo the man of god says we need not teach you how to love because you have the spirit of love you have the spirit of christ tunaambiwa yesu alitwambia hatuna haja hata kufundisha upendo kwa sababu ndani yetu kuna roho wa upendo tayari. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Mm. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men those good things that God has laid up that God has prepared for them that love. Them. God, he had, New Jerusalem is your home. Yerusalemu mpya ni nyumbani kwako iwapo utampenda Mungu. Like I said, in, like I said before there are benefits in being saved. Kuna ba, kuna faida kama alivyosema mwanzoni, kuna faida za kuwa umeokuwa. Good benefits and Jesus being saved son. and being a child of God and the main one is to have the promise to have eternal life and to go to heaven and to be with the Lord forever and, and having the Holy Spirit you have your ticket you have access to not only God but to heaven. Una 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 nafasi ya kuingia mbinguni. When when you have a ticket it's just for one person. Tiketi ni huwa ni ya mtu mmoja. To enter an event. Kuingia kwenye sehemu fulani. You can't break off a piece and give it to Uwezi different people. Wewe ukikata ile tiketi vipande eti watu mkashare. Because they become invalid. Kwa sababu inakuwa batili. But by having that ticket. Kwa ba, kwa kuwa na ile tiketi or by having that key that open your front door. Fungua, fungua mlango wako. Fungua ni moja, huwa sio mbili. It gives you access. Inakupa njia kuingia. Amen. You have your ticket to glory. Una ukiokoka unapata tiketi yako ya kuenda kwenye mlango wa milele kwenda mbinguni. Let's continue to praise God. Endelea kumsifu Bwana. Let's continue to give God the glory. Bwana tunza utakatifu. And in all things, not Shiba just in some things. Shiba neno la Mungu. Give thanks because Amen. it's God's will. Yes that we praise him come we were created Amen. to Tumeungu. worship him kumwambi let me say something watu wa mungu iwapo hujampokea kristu i'm saying for those who are not saved mm. we'll post a prayer underneath our videos they can follow that prayer we'll post a group that you can come and study the bible ask questions find a pastor that is preaching the true word where you are Amen. Because you need to be baptized. You need to learn the word enough to prepare your heart so you can receive the Holy Ghost. Ukiokoka usiishie hapo. Tafuta mchungaji akufundishe neno. Huna mchungaji njoo kuna makundi tumetengeneza kukusaidia hujapokea Roho Mtakatifu. Hujabatizwa kwa jina la Yesu bado hujatimiza. I want to say something in conjunction to that and yeah, then we're going to end. Mhm. Acts 2:38 Baptism for the remission of your sins and receiving the Holy Ghost It's not going to have no effect for you If you don't believe that Jesus is Lord If you don't confess that Jesus is Lord Hallelujah If you don't turn around from your of living to God's way if you have not made up in your mind Hallelujah. that 
not just believing that he's the Lord. Sio kuamini kwamba yeye ni bwana. But also believing him for his word. Kumwamini kwa neno lake aliyolisema. It will not benefit. Haitakusaidia bado je anamu ndio njia unayoelekea. Got, remember again they that come to God must believe that he is. Wanao kuja kwa Mungu lazima waamini kwamba yuko. That he is what? That he is God. Kwamba yeye ni Mungu, hakuna mwingine. They come to confess that he is Lord. Kukiri kwamba yeye ni Bwana. Right. Confession with your mouth and believe in your heart. Amen. Ni vizuri kukiri na kinywa na kuamini moyoni mwako. Amina. You got to do that by grace you are saved and not by works when it, it, that's what the scripture says. Sema andiko anasema amina. But to equally divide the word of 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 of, of truth. Lakin. The word of God say, "Hey, but that that I show you my faith by my works. Faith without as the body without the spirit is dead. Faith without works is dead also. So it's things that we have to do mm-hmm. to stay saved mm-hmm. and sanctified to see Jesus. Unaona maandiko yanatuambia jinsi ya kufanya lakini kuna vitu tunatakiwa kufanya ili tubaki katika wokovu. And in doing those things mm-hmm. the great commission of the Lord is to go out in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature mm-hmm. that they may be saved. Kumbuka, kazi kubwa ya mtu aliyeokolewa ni kuenda ulimwenguni, kuhubiri injili ili walimwengu wengine nao wakolewa. Ndio maana kwenye kundi letu la kusoma neno la Mungu, tunakuambia chukua ile mistari kafundishwa watu wengine. So all those that are just saying I confess, I gave God my heart, I gave this, you got a lot more to do is you got to take another step. Mm in God's grace mm-hmm. in his mercy mm-hmm. to receive the holy ghost mm-hmm. and that's being born again of the water and of the spirit to, to enter, enter and to see the kingdom of God yani ukiokolewa ndio maana tunakuambia bado jifunze neno ubatizwe kwa jina la Yesu uweze kupokea roho wa Mungu wa kweli sio wa kujibabatiza wa, 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 wa kujidanganyisha yule unawekewa tu mikono yetu umepokea hapana hakisha roho yako umepokea uweze kumwili na roho na maji so, so, so for a preacher or for someone to say you don't need that you don't, you don't take all that you call him the Lord of life is, is, it, is it possible that Jesus is alive the same God that you said that saved you and set you free he tell you you got to be baptized in his name to enter and see the kingdom of God. Wana ufami wa mbinguni. And you say that that's not needed. Unasema haitakiwi. That's not necessary. Sio muhimu. I I rather believe God than man. Ni afanye muamini Mungu kwa kuamini wanadamu. Let God be true and every man a lie that your sayings be established. Waacha Mungu awe mkweli na wengine wote. That when you are judged or when I am judged for what I say. Nikumio kwa tunayoongea. I can stand on the word. I'm I'm justified by the word of God. Ninaweza nikasema ninasimamia mstari andiko hili. Amen. Amina. So blessed are those that believe and have faith. Mbarikiwa wanaoamini na hawajamuona. You have been baptized in Jesus name. Yeah, Find a pastor that baptized in Jesus wapo, name. Wapo. For the taking away of your sins. In accordance to Acts 2:38. He that believeth and is baptized Jesus say mm-hmm. shall be saved. Jesus said he that believeth not. Yesu amesema siamini shall be damned. Atahukumiwa. That's where the that's where the rubber meets the road. Ndio hapo ukweli unapo the same Jesus that you said, "Why well, I confess yes, and I, I receive and just call it a day." Case dismissed. Case dismissed. Mm. Saved by grace. He died on Calvary. I ain't got to do nothing. You need to read your Bible. You need to ask God for understanding of His will and His way. Yes, we're saved by grace. We're saved by faith. Those that confess Christ are of Christ. But don't confuse those scriptures with the plan of salvation. Lord, I tell you. Mm. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say. Praise the Lord. And may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost be with you you all this day and forevermore. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Go, go with God. Be in Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus.